Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today I'm going to be doing the next six stages, stages 21 to 26 of the Diagostini Collectibles release, a build, the International Space Station. This is looking pretty cool so far, isn't it? Look, we've got it on the stand and everything at the moment, mostly metal, so I'm going to put it down because it is quite heavy, believe it or not. Now, I don't know if this is still available, but I have put the link in the video description and there is also a QR code on the screen. Um, this is probably one of my favorite models. I really do love anything to do with space and stuff. So uh, it's no surprise that I am liking this. I'd love to see a Saturn V rocket or even a space station part, a space station, a space shuttle uh, part work build. That'd be absolutely brilliant. But uh, I'm gonna get on with it. Six stages today, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, I haven't actually looked at any of these magazines, so I don't know what we're doing today. So uh, I'm going to show you what the magazines uh, have. I'm talking about space shuttles. There's one there. So this is what sort of content you get in the magazines. And as you can see, we're now going to be doing these next stages. And I do appreciate anyone in the comments who can actually tell me what I'm actually building of this, what modules I'm building, because... I haven't got a clue. I don't have a guide uh, to the International Space Station, unfortunately, about all these detailed parts. Uh, but we're just going to be putting these together here and then adding to these what you see here. So it's looking like that. So here's the parts for stage 21. And just once again, how have I managed to cut that open without breaking any plastic? That's crazy. OK, <laughs> that is one of the modules. And again, this is solid metal here. And then we've got one of the solar panels as well. And this wouldn't be a space station build without my favorite R screws. <laughs> and all I'm gonna to do to start off with is I'm gonna be taking this section here, quite simply, this is just gonna go into these two holes, so it's nice and flat on there, and it's gonna be held in with one of those aforementioned screws. <laughs> now I am going into uh, plastic, so I don't have to worry about oil or anything like that for this, so one that side. Again, I'm using my PH1 uh, screwdriver, you do get a lot more torque on this one and put it in this side as well. And with that in place, the only other thing they want me to do at the moment is to put in this panel, which just goes in there. Now, unlike last time, which had a clip to put this in, this one's actually going to be held in with a screw, which is, again is one of these R screws, AS4s, AS5, should I say. So put that one in as well. Now, just like the ones that had the clip, even though this is in quite tight, I am still able to rotate this round, as you can see. It holds itself into position. So I'm gonna be bringing over the space station on the stand, and I have had to move the cameras around because what I'm gonna be doing is holding this this way round, I'm gonna be putting it into this section here. Now it goes, this lug here into this second hole up. And if I can get that in, it's gonna line up the other two holes here, which are then held in with one of these MS4 screws. This time I am going into metal, so I have put this in some oil. I do like how this stand is also kind of like a jig, so it's helping me put these in without having to touch anything else. But with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 22 here, again, this is the magazine. And I'm guessing we're gonna probably do the other side of that module we just created there. Although I say that, check this out, lots of details in this one. So we're gonna be creating all of this together here, looking just like that, this is crazy. So then at the end of it, all of those details are gonna make just that little section there. And there is a lot of things in this packet, look at that. So the first thing I need, looks just like this. And I'm gonna be adding this sort of canister to the side of it. I want the metal version with the pins on it. And then holding it this way so that the longer lug is at the top. I'm gonna to be slotting this into position, probably best on the top camera, just like that. Into position there. Then closing that off with the other side, which is just gonna be a, a pushing, because this is the female part of this. 
and push that in there. Excellent. Now I've got this metal rod to put in. Now I'm just checking which way it goes. We want it so that the bigger and the smaller holes here, looking at the middle one, the bigger holes are on top here. And that's just going to be slotting in the middle, just like that. So I'm going to get one of these AS5 screws. And I'm going to screw it into the hole just underneath where I've just put that white lug you can see into there. But we are going to be putting an AS5 screw in there as well because I need to put the other side of this on. This is just going to go on here like that. Make sure there's no seams around and it's locked into place good. Take another AS5 screw. You know exactly what I'm saying. And just screw this into the middle here. And there we go. When that's in, it should look like that. And I do want to hide that screw. So we do have a cap to put over the top. These don't need gluing in. These fit so flush that once they're in like that, they're never coming out again. Now on the bottom section of this here, we've got this detail here. We want to make sure that the longest lug is going through the larger hole. So that's going to go in just like that. Once again, I want one of the AS5 screws screwed into the top. That's going to hold that piece in. And then you'd think we'd be putting the other side on, but we're not doing that yet. We're going to be putting some details on. And that is these black details that I've got here. And the way these go, the rounded side here is going to fit into that section there. So they're fitting flush. They are slightly different sizes. So the one that's bigger will be going on that side there. If they don't seem to be fitting very well, just switch them around. It's very hard in the pictures to actually see how they go. And then in exactly the same way, I've got this bottom piece here again, which is just going to go with that roundish section in there. So that's how those three look. And then I'm going to close it off by putting this section in here. Making sure it's round the right way. We've got some writing on it, so it's going to help us. And then just push that into position like this. So it's going to fit perfectly in there. But we are going to need to hold this into place. Make sure it's clipped in as well. We do have a hole through here, which again is an AS5 screw. I will have to use my smaller screwdriver here to get this in. And you want that in nice and tight because you do want to close up the seam as best as we can there. Once again, we're going to be hiding that screw hole because we've got a cap just to put over the top and push down like that. And then I've got these three little details to go in. One just down the bottom there. Again, don't need glue because these are going to... Uh, Fit in no problems at all. We've got some that look like little radar dishes, I guess. So that's what the three look like on that side. And that's what the other one looks like on that side. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 23, here's the magazine. And what we're going to be doing, we've got some more details here, including another solar panel here, adding this to what we've created there. So by the end, it's looking like that. Now, in this square hole that we've got just on this side, if I have the camera that way round, I've got this panel to put in. And it's going to go in this way and just fit in like that. The section we just created in the last stage will be going on the bottom here like that. And I'm holding that bottom section in with an MS4 screw. Just into the hole there. Get that in nice and tight. So one of these parts come out from the last stage. So I have put a bit of glue just on this one here so that that doesn't happen again. I can just put that to one side temporarily because I'm going to be bringing over the other half of this now. And once again, like we did on the other side, we're just going to be putting this panel in this side here and holding that in with some of the AS5 screws. Two of these, so one this side. And just one down the bottom here. And then just like last time, we are going to be putting the solar panel in to here, held in again with an AS5 screw.
There we go. That's that side in as well. And then it's just a case of us bringing this back over. And then this is just going to be going on the other side here to clamp both of these together like that. And they're held in with MS4 screws. We need two of these. So one of them will be going at the top here. And the other one's just going underneath this solar panel here. And then we've got two more caps to put on. We've got a thin one, which goes at the bottom. That's pushed in. And I've got this bigger one here, which we want the dots to be on the bottom. And this top one needs to be flush with the top there. So that's exactly how that should fit in there. All that's left to do then, trying to find a position. We've got two holes either side here, which this detail is going to go in. And it's just a push in, so it's a case of lining them up and pushing this in like this. It does go with this section here pointing upwards. And there we go. That's in like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 24, here's the magazine. And I'm guessing we're going to start on another module now, which is this one here. And again, another solar panel. This is a nice quick stage. This one, we're just putting, this is a clipping actually. It's going to be a very quick stage, but we are putting this in and then we're going to be mounting this onto the space station as we've created it so far. So this one, as I said, is a clipping. So it's a case of holding it at the base and then putting it in like that. So then it's able to turn, as you can see bringing over the space station again. We're working on the same section here that we created this. And basically we've got some holes here. This is just gonna go in this way, like that. Now that's gonna be held in with MS4 screws. I've got them here. And there's two screw holes to put these in over here. So one this side and one the other side. And with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. So that brings us on to stage 25. Here's the magazine. And I'm guessing we're probably doing the other side of that section. It looks like it, but we've got here, putting this together and we are gonna be closing that other section off here. So it's looking like that. We do have some details to put on that as well. Coming together. Okay, before I put the other side on, I do have a detail to put on here. Now this detail, it's just going to be going into the little slot that we've got at the top there. So I'm just going to push that all the way in. It sort of points off in this direction here. Then I'm in a position to close this up. And then I'm holding it in with four MS4 screws. So first one in here, I'll get them all in now. Now an extremely clever way of hiding all the holes here, we've got this detail here which is going to hide these two holes just here. So that one's in first and then we've got these two slot ones which are going into each side here. Just checking which side goes where. There is a locating notch on this, so this one with a notch goes at the bottom. It's just a case of pushing it in and the top one over here. Perfect. And with those in place, the only thing left to do is to put the other side of this solar panel in. Just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So that brings us to the last stage, stage 26. Here's the magazine. Look at that. Excellent. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, it looks like we're starting another module here. So by the end of it, we are going to be able to add this by the look of it to the space station. So it's going to look just like that. So here's all the parts for stage 26. 26 stages in and we've done loads already. And the first part I need looks just like this. I'm going to be adding some details to this. The first detail looks like a little cross and that's just going to go into that section there, probably best on the top camera there. Then I have this section here, which is going into the hole 
just on this side is shaped. So I just need to make sure I follow the shape to push this in. Put that to one side and bring over the space station again, because this time this little part we've just created is just going to go onto this section here like that. Oops, I've just knocked off one of the details. That's easy to put back in. That will get held in when I put the other side of this on. I do want to screw that in though. So I'm using one of the AS5 screws. And as you can see from that side, that's what that's looking like. I'm going to close that off by putting the other side on here. And it goes around this way. If you check it out this time, the writing is upside down on that. It's going to take the uh, R screw again. <laughs> and with both of those parts in, as you can see, they hold those details in perfectly. And then the last two details I've got to put in is this one here, which is going underneath both of these sections, just onto this section here, so lining it up with a hole. So that's in that side. Once again, I do want to pull that in. So I'm holding that in. I don't know if you can see on one of these cameras with uh, AS5 screw just in here. And then quite simply, I'm just going to put its counterpart on the other side here. It's going to go in that side. Held in once again with an AS5 screw. And then obviously I want to hide the screw holes on this side. So this is a cap to go on this side here. Perfect. And then just on the other side here where we've got that screw hole at the top, I do have another cap to put in there. And with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. Let me zoom out the camera. That is all there is to do in that pack. It's really coming along, isn't it? Love it. So how is that looking at the moment? There you go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And there's my head for size. I enjoyed that. I really hope you did too. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.